Here's an extended analysis of each chapter of 1984 by George Orwell, exploring key themes, character development, and narrative intricacies in detail. Chapter 1 The opening chapter of 1984 immerses readers into the bleak world of Winston Smith, a disenchanted party member living in the totalitarian society of Oceania. Orwell masterfully sets the stage by describing Airstrip 1, formerly London, under the oppressive rule of the party, led by the mysterious figure of Big Brother. Through Winston's eyes, we witness the pervasive surveillance and control exerted by the party through telescreens, propaganda, and the thought police. Winston's act of rebellion, starting a secret diary, introduces us to his inner turmoil and yearning for individual expression in a society that demands conformity and obedience. This chapter establishes the novel's central themes of oppression, surveillance, and the fight for personal autonomy. Chapter 2 Winston's role at the Ministry of Truth, where he alters historical records to align with the party's ever-changing narrative, illuminates the theme of truth manipulation for political control. Orwell sharply critiques totalitarian regimes that rewrite history to maintain power and deceive the populace. Winston's encounter with Julia, a fellow party member whom he suspects of harboring rebellious thoughts, injects intrigue and tension into the narrative. This chapter delves deeper into Winston's disillusionment with the party's propaganda and his yearning for genuine human connection amidst a society defined by mistrust and suspicion. Chapter 3 Winston's contemplation of the nursery rhyme, Oranges and Lemons, evokes a longing for a past erased by the party's relentless rewriting of history. Orwell skillfully portrays the party's suppression of memory as a tool of control, highlighting its efforts to reshape reality and erase individual identity. This chapter explores Winston's burgeoning defiance against the party's attempts to eradicate independent thought and reshape collective consciousness. The theme of resistance against ideological tyranny gains momentum, as Winston dreams of rebellion and seeks authenticity in a world dominated by government surveillance. Chapter 4 Orwell deepens the atmosphere of surveillance and paranoia as Winston navigates his daily life under the watchful eyes of telescreens and the thought police. The party slogans, such as war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, underscore its manipulation of language and reality to maintain dominance. Winston's fear of being detected for his rebellious thoughts intensifies, highlighting the psychological toll of living in a society where conformity is enforced through fear and indoctrination. This chapter underscores the pervasive atmosphere of oppression and sets the stage for Winston's further descent into rebellion. Chapter 5 Winston's growing fixation on O'Brien, an inner party member whom he believes shares his anti-establishment sentiments, reflects his deepening desire for rebellion and change. His clandestine relationship with Julia blossoms into a symbol of resistance against the party's restrictions on personal freedom and emotion. This chapter explores themes of forbidden love and the innate human longing for intimacy in a dehumanizing society. Orwell portrays Winston and Julia's relationship as a form of defiance against the party's control, highlighting their quest for individuality and autonomy amidst ideological oppression. Chapter 6 Winston and Julia's secret meetings in the rented room above Mr. Charrington's shop symbolize their pursuit of authenticity and liberation from party surveillance. Their discussions about rebellion and the degradation of language reveal their shared disillusionment with the party's propaganda machine. Orwell critiques the party's use of language as a tool of thought control, emphasizing the erasure of truth and independent thought under totalitarian regimes. This chapter deepens Winston's resolve to challenge the party's authority and reclaim his individual identity. Chapter 7 The risks of Winston and Julia's affair escalate as they navigate the constant threat of discovery by the party. Winston's decision to rent the room in Mr. Charrington's shop as a private sanctuary signifies his defiance against the party's intrusion into his personal life. This chapter underscores the character's longing for human connection 
and intimacy in a society that seeks to eradicate such emotions. Orwell emphasizes the resilience of the human spirit in the face of totalitarian repression, highlighting the character's determination to resist despite overwhelming odds. Chapter 8 Winston's reading of a forbidden book detailing the party's rise to power exposes the brutal realities of totalitarian rule and the party's methods of control through propaganda and fear. The possibility of a secret brotherhood that opposes the party offers hope for rebellion and resistance. Orwell critiques the manipulation of history and the suppression of dissent, highlighting the transformative power of knowledge and awareness in resisting tyranny. This chapter deepens Winston's resolve to challenge the party's authority and seek liberation from its oppressive grip. Chapter 9 Winston's conversations with Julia about the party's atrocities and the fate of dissenters underscore the risks of rebellion in a totalitarian regime. Their pledge to support each other against the party's oppression underscores their defiance and solidarity. Orwell emphasizes the importance of human connection and solidarity in resisting totalitarianism, showcasing the characters' unwavering commitment to fight for their beliefs despite the dire consequences. This chapter sets the stage for the novel's dramatic climax, as Winston's rebellion against the party reaches its zenith. Chapter 10 The novel's climax unfolds as Winston and Julia's hideout is raided by the Thought Police, leading to their arrest and brutal interrogation. Winston's imprisonment in the Ministry of Love marks the culmination of his journey towards rebellion and self-discovery. Orwell's exploration of psychological manipulation and physical torture underscores the party's brutality and its ability to crush dissent. This chapter highlights the devastating consequences of resistance in a totalitarian regime, showcasing Winston's transformation from a disillusioned rebel to a broken, an obedient subject under the party's oppressive regime. 1984 remains a chilling exploration of totalitarianism and the erosion of individual freedoms. Orwell's meticulous examination of characters, relationships, and the dystopian world of Oceania serves as a powerful warning about the dangers of unchecked government power and the importance of preserving truth and autonomy. Each chapter deepens our understanding of the characters' struggles and motivations, illuminating the complexities of resistance and the enduring human spirit in the face of oppression. The novel's narrative intricacies invite readers to reflect on timeless themes of freedom, surveillance, and the relentless quest for individuality in the face of ideological tyranny.